exclusive, being the only one of its kind, unique, possessing qualities that belong to no other. Be intentional in everything you do. Be honest in who you say you are. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Exclusive TV. I can't even say welcome back because like it's my first video. <laughs> ah! So I'm um, just gonna keep it sweet, short, sweet. Okay, so anyways, um, so I just filmed this look. This is basically like a neutral glam type of thing. If you like what you see, please stay tuned. But yeah, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment so I can actually know that y'all actually want to see me make more videos. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys love it. Please subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, keep on watching. All right, so let's get straight into it. I've already done my brows off camera. I filled them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Pomade in Ebony and concealed with the LA Girl Pro Conceal using the shade Fawn underneath my brows and toast on top. I'm blending it out a little bit with my Real Techniques 200 Oval Shadow Brush to get rid of any harsh lines. Now my face has already been moisturized using my Estee Lauder Daywear Moisturizer and primed with the Becca Evermatte Primer. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation in Rich Sand and blending it out with my Real Techniques Insta Pop Face Brush. You're probably wondering if I was a little blind picking out this shade, but no. This foundation does oxidize pretty well, so give it a second to sit in. It's good to keep that in mind when you're going foundation shopping. When you shade match a foundation straight out the bottle, it's ideal to give it some time to sit on your face for about a minute to see the true shade that you'll be getting out from it. And as you can see, this is literally the perfect shade for me and probably my favorite foundation. Now for concealer, I'm going back in with that same shade I used underneath my brows. I'm very big on full coverage concealers to hide my not so designer bags and LA Girl Pro Conceal gets the job done for me. Like y'all, I go ham with this product. <laughs> Anyways, I'm blending it in with my top tier Real Techniques blending sponge and using tapping motions to seamlessly blend it into my foundation. I like to start off with blending out the edges first to get some control with the movement of the concealer instead of starting straight from underneath my eyes. This to me is the most crucial part of any makeup application. Your concealer needs to be blended out so seamlessly. If not, you'll either look patchy or like a ghost and yeah, we can't go outside. Now, as if I don't have enough coverage already, I'm going back in again and adding another layer of that same concealer. I'm even going in lightly with the shade Light Ivory to give me an even brighter under eye look. This step is so not necessary, but for my dramatic conceal lovers like myself, this is for you. Just make sure you take your time with blending it out to avoid any, you know, cakey look or whatever. And a major key to unlocking a very seamless makeup look is going in with your foundation brush and using the leftover product from the brush to neutralize any harsh lines you may have created while adding more products to your face. Next step would be your contour. I'm going in with my black opal foundation stick in the shade Ebony Brown to contour my nose, cheekbones, and forehead. A great tip you should keep in mind is using a lighter contour shade on your nose to avoid having a harsh contour. But for me, this is all I have, so I'll just have to make it work. And I'm blending that out with my BH Cosmetics shadow brush from one of the sets they sold. I'm then using my Real Techniques 401 Sculpting Brush to blend out my cheek contour as well as my forehead.
To set any part that has been touched by concealer, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and using the flat side of my damp sponge to tap that product in. I typically don't bake anymore, I just let the powder set in. This is another not so necessary step, but like I said, I like my under eyes to be very vibrant. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Powder in the shade 330, which is close to my concealer shade and setting just my under eyes along. It will look very cakey when you first apply it, but it's nothing a little blending will fix. So take your time with this step to ensure you get a very flawless look. To set my contour, I'm using the BH Cosmetics 126 Face Brush in this brown color from the Juvia's Place Zulu Palette and blending that color into my contour. From that same palette, I'm taking the pink shade and using that very lightly as my blush. I'm also using the same color I used to set my contour for my nose as well. Lastly, to set everything all together, I'm using my Makeup Revolution's Sports Fix Setting Spray and spritzing that all over my face. To line my lips, I'm honestly going in with some random beauty supply dark brown pencil and I think this is the NK brand or something, but I'm using that to line my lips. Forgive me for putting my lashes on before I finish my lips, but there's honestly no way I was going to film that process. Like I'm low-key still on training wheels when it comes to putting lashes on. Anyways, this red lip is from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Seraphine and the pigment is so beautiful. And that's it. Now your look is complete. It is time to take that scarf off and pop those earrings on. And we are ready to serve all types of looks. You can work all the angles. Take all those fire pics for your Insta story. And with a look this good, don't wait for him to ask you out. <laughs> take yourself out on that date. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and being a part of this journey. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment on how you feel about this look and the products I used today. Sending nothing but blessings your way this week, and I'll see you guys in my next video.